Good morning, and welcome to Flannel Hill Farm. Sorry, I haven't been very present on the YouTube lately. Um, Big K and I just got married, so it's been planning and purchasing and doing all kinds of stuff. So that is why I haven't been very present. However, the chickens are doing well. They are reaping the benefits of leftover wedding food, so they're excited. Um, we've been having quite a few rain storms lately. Doesn't look like it's gonna end either. We thankfully don't have much in the way of actual like flooding, but we do have quite the swamp down here. So looks like we need to better solidify our trees here from those wind storms. So we'll have to get a stick out here and get that settled up. This one had a stick and it doesn't look like it did much. So. I'll come out here and figure that out. I think what I might do is just take some cord and put it to the fence. Just two of them though, really, I think. So that's not bad, just two trees out of the lot. Grass got real tall. It literally rained here for probably three days. So it was a... Oh, this one's got fruit, look at that. It's got little fruits on it. I think that's an apple tree. Pretty sure that's an apple tree. That's awesome. Uh, we got gooseberries growing well down here. Got to get in here with a lawn mower. Yeah, gooseberries are growing well. Check on the uh, raspberries here quick. I got my my muck boots on. So it's like the first time this season I've worn these. So they're going to wear me out. Hi ladies, you guys like the watermelon? Look at them, they eat all the way to like the green part. So, they're enjoying life. That's good. I got eggs. Raspberries are looking good. Raspberries are looking fantastic actually. Some of the ones that were dormant don't look too hot, but perfect to get in here with a mower and some weed whacking. Come on, puppies! Creed! Kona! Come on, guys! We just took them for their walk and fed them. So, come on, Creed. Come on, buddy. Creed's working through a cut on his paw pad. Benny, um, apparently he was, he was a little stiff, a little sore, and he's had what they call happy tail. But he's also had a problem with his back before, just hyperextended or whatever. Um, and he's a beagle, so happy tail and a problem with his back aren't all that rare. So I thought he just had, you know, a little bit of a pulled something or because that's what happy tail is. They 
they wag their tails so much that they actually wear out the muscles, basically. So that's what I thought it was. And it wasn't getting better. So we took him in. And he has something they call tick fever. Some new something or another. Um, but it basically... It presents like arthritis slash Lyme's disease and they have to do a blood test to figure it out. The cool thing about our vet is our vet's old, older, but we went in and Kevin, base, Big K just basically told him like the symptoms that Bentley was showing and he just knew. He's like, I'll bet you it's tick fever. We'll have to do a blood test, make sure. And then they did the blood test and sure enough. So he's, hey, get out of there. They are finding bunny nests and Bentley I don't think can help himself when it comes to bunnies, but KK knows that we don't, we don't kill bunnies, but the puppies, I don't think they get that yet, so I'm trying to keep them, they shouldn't be in my garden anyways, but the dog shouldn't be, and neither should the bunnies, but I feel bad for the bunnies, so trying to keep them out of the garden, away from the baby bunnies. Even though, I don't know if the world needs more bunnies, but I still feel bad, so. <sighs> Muck boots, because it's a swamp. It's really the only reason I was wearing them, but, because I have enough grass and everything that I don't really have to worry about the chicken poop making it to the end of doors, but. Still not something you really want to deal with, so that's that. Um, so Bentley's on the mend. He's just got some antibiotics and some pain meds. Uh, Rito has a wrapped paw that he's putting everywhere. He will just walk through puddles, stands in his water. Like, if he can... He's going to put a paw in his water bucket, bowl, whatever it is. I don't know why, but he'll stand in it just because he's crazy. Take you into the house quick. Big K's made a lot of progress on the house. Um, if I can do this without getting super wet. So, in here, we have big progress. It's much cooler in here than it is outside, being as though it's warm outside. Um, we have piping done here for the shower. I think that's, like, done-done. I think all we have to do is, like, cement it in. Um, big K put the shower part on so that's done i think we bought white ones for that and he used red i wonder if it wasn't tall enough and this one we still have to do but that is done here for the shower head. So we're getting there. All of these are elbowed out to the sinks, to the toilet. Um, water heater is elbowed out there. This is done. Like all we have to do is put the appliance in. Um, fridge water is done. All we have to do is put the appliance in. Um, Again, over here, the toilet is elbowed out. The sink is elbowed out. So, 
And they, they just recommend that you don't curve the pecs out of the wall. They recommend you put an elbow fitting in to get it out of the wall. So that's what I mean by elbowed out. It's elbowed out of the wall. So that's that. Um, this F and J is done on this side, almost done on the other side. Like I think we have two pieces on the other side to put in. Um, so yeah, we're just recovering from the weekend of getting married. So, which is exciting. It was great. Um, everybody had a good time. Can you please buzz all dogs that are out here with me before they, before they kill bunnies, please? Rapidly. Um... So yeah, is there anything you want to tell YouTube land? Hi, YouTube land. <laughs> Sorry, Credo. Come on, buddy. I apologize for that. All right, so I think that's all we have for you today. I don't know what we're gonna be doing. I know we're both pretty exhausted, so I don't know what will happen today, but we will keep you up to date better now than we have been for a little bit. What's up? We got crazy busy, so. Oh. YouTube got neglected, and we apologize for that. On your way back down the hill, if you wouldn't mind liking, sharing, subscribing, hitting that little bell notification button thing, maybe check on those bunnies out in the garden for me. That'd be great. I'd appreciate it. I appreciate y'all.